Did you know that you could make thousands of dollars a month on Amazon KDP by selling activity books? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make those activity books in minutes. Now, there are loads of types of books that you can sell on Amazon KDP. A few years ago, a lot of people created line notebooks and journals. Last year, that moved more towards coloring books, but those areas have become a little bit saturated, and so activity books seems to be a fantastic area to get started with. So if we come over to Amazon, we can just have a little look around at what other people are doing. So one of the key things you wanna be doing with your activity books is if you're just searching for something like activity books, you can see up here that there's over 90,000 results. What you wanna be doing is niching down a little bit. So you either wanna do a specific type of activity book or you wanna niche down that target audience into a smaller age range. So a lot of people do things like activity books for kids age eight to 12. And so straight away, you can see here that now that has over 10,000 results. But looking at what's performing well here, you've got things like the 2025 activity puzzle book. You've got hidden pictures, travel activity book, brain games, would you rather, how to draw books, mazes and puzzles, another maze book. So it looks like maze books could be a good idea to look at. So if we come onto our search bar again, and we search for maze books for kids age eight to 12, you can see that that's now down to just over a thousand results. So what we've done here is just niching down a little bit to find an area where we might be able to rank on that first page rather than ranking on like page five, six or seven. And that's how you're gonna make more sales on Amazon KDP. So now that I've got an idea in my mind of the type of book that I want to create, I can come over to Book Bolt. So over on Book Bolt, they have a research section and then a create section. And if I click the cloud section, I can have a little look at some other maze books and see how they're performing. So why I really like to do this is it shows me the best sellers and what the best seller ranks are of those books. So let's say I wanna search for maze books between five and $10. I'm gonna include the keyword of maze there. And I wanna find all of the maze books under let's say 60,000 best seller rank. So if we click search, we can see all of the books that include mazes pop up here. So this is one that's doing very, very well. This is a maze book for kids aged four to eight, and that's getting an estimated 420 monthly sales. Scrolling down, there's another couple here. If we look at this one, which is made for ages eight to 12, it's got 100 themed mazes and it's getting an estimated 329 sales a month. So let's go back up to the first one that we saw because that's getting more sales. And this is for ages four to eight, and it has more than 101 mazes. So for us to break through and to create something that's gonna sell, we need to make sure we're creating, you know, at least that, if not more. Now that we know the type of book we're gonna create, we can come onto the keywords tab. On here, I can search for maze book for kids ages four to eight, and we can see the Amazon search volume. Now this is absolutely fantastic because if you're creating a book that has no search volume, you're not gonna sell any books. So you wanna make sure that you've got a decent search volume, but that the niche isn't too competitive. And what you can do with these is you can include these in your title, but you can also include these in your seven keyword boxes when you're uploading your book to Amazon KDP. So I am going to just filter it down by including the word maze in there. And we're gonna have a little search through by search volume and we can see the highest search volume are maze books for kids ages eight, ages four, ages for kids four to eight. So they're the keywords that I'm gonna favorite and save for later. So now we know the type of book that we wanna create. We wanna create a maze book for kids ages four to eight. We can come onto the create section of Book Bolt. So if we come over to the side and we click create, we can use the Book Bolt Studio to create our book. So all you need to do is come over to project, click new project, and you can name your book. So let's call it Epic Maze Book for Kids, ages four to eight. And so what I love about Book Bolt is it can include the cover if you don't have things like Photoshop. So you can create your cover and your interior right here in the studio. Or if you want to outsource your cover, you can just create your interior. But here you've got the options of doing a paperback or a hardback. So let's start with the paperback cover and interior. We wanna select the trim size of our book for kids activity books, the 8.5 by 11 inches seems to be the standard. That's because it's a nice big book. So if we select 8.5 by 11 inches, 
we then select whether we want it to be black and white or if we want it to be color. So in order to maximize our royalties and scenes we're creating mazes, we don't really need that much color inside. So we're gonna make more money if we sell a black and white book. So we're gonna go with black and white with white paper. You've got the option to include bleed. That's if you want to do edge to edge printing. But seeing as we're doing mazes and we're probably gonna be in the middle of the page somewhere, we don't need to include a bleed. So we are gonna do 102 pages and click create project. So this is a fantastic tool on BookBolt. It automatically pulls the cover dimensions from Amazon Cover Calculator. So you don't need to go there, download it, and create your book elsewhere. You can do it directly in BookBolt. So we'll come back to the cover a bit later and get going with the interior pages. So we wanna create a nice little introduction page so I can add a heading. I can reduce the size a little bit and you can choose your fonts here. If you have your own fonts, you can also upload them and use them as well. Just make sure you have the rights to use them when you're publishing on Amazon. So you can see here, BookBolt automatically gives you the correct margins. So make sure you don't include anything outside of those because Amazon won't accept that because it will be outside the print margins. So that's really handy. So you can see here, all we are doing is creating a nice little introduction page. So this gives you the options to create dotted lines, to create dashed lines. So do whatever works for you. So we've made a very basic intro page. You know, if you're creating this yourself, you wanna make sure that that intro page is nice and visual. You might wanna add an example maze there, but that's an example of what that first page might look like. And then we come on to creating the mazes. And what BookBolt is absolutely incredible for is it has these page templates. So if you wanna create notebooks, if you wanna create journals, if you wanna create handwriting paper, graph paper, all of these templates are in BookBolt. So literally with one click, you can make a journal. With one click, you can make a graph paper notebook. And so that's a really handy thing about BookBolt. But what we're doing today is we're creating activity books. And so this is similar, but it works a little bit different. And so we've got here all the different types of activity books that we can create. So we've got things like mind finder, word scrambles, cryptograms, crosswords, sudokus, word search, and then we come on to the mazes. So yeah, so if you want to create any of those types of books, word searches, crosswords, sudokus, you can literally do it in minutes in BookBolt. But we're gonna create some mazes. So I think the hexagonal are really fun. So I'm gonna click on the hexagonal. And then here you select what pages you put them on. So if you wanna do it quickly, you can just click select all, or you can do select from and to. So we're gonna do from page two, which is the first blank page, to page 51, and then that will give us 50 mazes. And so we click through to continue to options and you can select the size of the maze. So this is kind of like how big it is, the complexity of it. So seeing as we're doing for kids age four to eight, we're gonna make it very simple. So let's do eight cells. You can adjust the color and the width of the lines and the same with the solution width as well. So you can select here if you want to include solutions so we're gonna select after all puzzle pages and you can select how big they are just by clicking the set additional margins. So as you play around with BookBolt, you'll become a little bit more familiar with this, but say if you want it in from the edge of the book a little bit more, you just enter those figures here. But for now, we're gonna go with the useful Amazon KDP guidelines button. So we can click continue to solution pages. There you need to select which pages include your solutions and you click Submit. So now BookBolt will generate these full page mazes. And it literally took around five seconds to generate 50 plus 50 solutions. So what's great about this is you're creating completely original, bespoke mazes for your book. So here we've got 50 different mazes. They're all in exactly the same style, which is fantastic. You might want to include a title on each page if you want to, but scrolling down, we can see that we've got 50 mazes here up to page 51. So what I'd probably do next on this is add a number there just so that the kids can refer to, you know, clue one, clue two, clue three. And then I might also add a little unique image there, maybe at the start to show like, oh look, the bunny wants to get to the middle of the maze. So that's a little extra personalization that you can add. But scrolling down, you can see that here, 
all of the solutions have been created. I think they're probably suitable for maybe age six to eight, but maybe not for age four to eight. So seeing as these mazes, I don't think are necessarily suitable for such a young age, we're gonna go again. But the great thing about BookBowl is it doesn't take any time at all. So I've created a new document and then we're gonna go and create some easier mazes. So I'm gonna go with circular mazes this time because I think they're probably a little bit easier. And we're gonna select from page two to 51 again. If we continue to options, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the cell count down to six to make it a little bit easier. And I'm also gonna increase the line width and make it a little bit of a darker color. So now if we click continue to solutions and click submit, we can see after a few seconds, our mazes have been generated. And these look a lot more simple. So you'd hope that ages four to eight are gonna be able to solve these mazes. And again, if we come down to the end, you can see the solutions are there and they look a little simpler to me. So the hexagonal ones with a bigger cell count might have been more suitable for maybe ages eight to 12, whereas I think these are more suitable to ages four to eight. And that's literally it. We've got our maze activity books in minutes. As I mentioned, you might wanna personalize these a little bit more, make them a little bit more premium, but that's it. You've got your interior all done and ready. Okay, so now we're moving on to the front cover and all you need to do is click this hide cover template and that reveals your front and back cover. So now you can select the background of the book cover. Let's do a nice greeny blue, I think. Be quite nice for this book. And what we're gonna do is we wanna show off the interior of the book. So I'm gonna create a maze using the same settings as before. I don't need a solution, so we're gonna click Submit. And there we go, we've got a maze example for our front cover. We are gonna create a white circle to go behind that. So we just click up here to make it white. And then we're gonna add our title. So you can choose the text color here, you can choose a background color, which is really handy, or you can choose a stroke. And we're gonna have a little look at some other fonts as well. So we wanna find one that's quite nice and fun for kids, I quite like that one. Here we go, Epic Mazes for Kids, nice and bold. So the great thing about this is you need zero design skills whatsoever. So absolutely anyone can make a cover on BookBolt. So here we go, we can play with this, but we've got a title and a subtitle, and we've included how many mazes there are in there. You wanna take a little bit more time to make something a little bit more beautiful that's gonna stand out. But here's just a really simple example of how you can use BookBolt's cover creator and just add the elements yourself within minutes. We've got a cover, we've got the interior, and we've got all of the mazes in here. All you need to do is go to download, and then what you wanna do for these printed books is download as CMYK. So BookBolt's now gonna check everything, it's gonna finalize the project, and then it's gonna export it as a CMYK PDF file. And the reason that we do CMYK is because it's for printing. So RGB is for digital and CMYK is for printing. So here we go. If we open up the zip folder that we get, we've got the cover in here and we've got the interior. And we can see we've got the cover in the exact right format. As I mentioned, it's a very simple cover, but it does the job for now for showing you this. And then we've got the interior. You can see that each page has a maze. Then scrolling down, you've got all of the solutions as well. So there you go, that took me about 10 minutes to make that book. Now what you wanna do to compete with the best sellers is you wanna like personalize it a bit, take a little bit more time to craft that, maybe add some illustrations, add some additional text, and take a bit more time with the front cover to make sure it's competing with those best sellers. But this shows how easy it is to make those puzzles. And so now we've got our book, we can come onto our KDP bookshelf and we can upload it to Amazon. So all we do is click the create button. We wanna sell a paperback and we wanna enter our book title here, which is Epic Mazes for Kids, ages four to eight. You can include a subtitle, which is where you could utilize some of your keywords. So that is an example there. You enter your author name, your contributor name, 
You write your description, that's what's gonna show on your product page. You can click you own the copyrights. You're not creating anything explicit. For this, we can choose an age range of four to eight. You include your primary marketplace, set your categories, enter your keywords that you found in BookBolt, and then you can click save and continue to go on to the next step. Now, the next step for this book is to click assign ISBN, and that's because Amazon KDP will give you a free ISBN that you can utilize on their platform. You come down to the print options, and for this, we're doing black and white interior. You select the trim size that matches book bolt. So for us, it was an 8.5 by 11 inches. You choose whether you chose bleed or no bleed when you set your document up. So for us, it was no bleed. You can either choose a matte or a glossy cover, and then you come to upload your manuscript. So for this, all you do is select your interior, and then you come onto your book cover and you upload your cover file here, which is that one. You select whether you used any AI generated content. We didn't for this book. And then you can click launch previewer. This is gonna do all the Amazon checks to make sure there's nothing over the margins. And this will allow you to see how your book looks in a print preview format. And so here we go. This is what our book will look like on Amazon. You've got the front and back cover there. You've got your little intro page that you might wanna make look a little bit nicer. And then you've got all of your mazes here. So you've got a maze, each page is going right up to the margin like we wanted. And then you'll have your solutions towards the end. And so what you might want to do is you might want to have two solutions per page to cut down the amount of pages. You might want to have them on every other page to prevent bleed through. But all of those are options that you can sort out in BookBolt. Once you're happy with your book, you just click approve and then you select your price and you can publish it to Amazon KDP. And that's how easy it is to make and publish activity books using BookBolt. If you want to try out BookBolt for yourself, click the link in the description below. I've got a 20% off coupon code that you can try, which is Empire20. That's Empire20. So if you want to try out BookBolt, you know, do all of your keyword research, competitor analysis, as well as creating all of these interiors in minutes, click the link in the description below. It's well worth a go. And there we go, that's how easy it is to create activity books using BookBolt. It's a fantastic option, especially for beginners or people who don't have that much time on their hands. Because if you wanted to create these books from scratch, it's gonna take you days, if not weeks. Whereas with BookBolt, it's literally taking minutes to just select what you wanna create and click in a button. That's literally it. And then in order to make it best practice and to stand out on Amazon, you wanna tweak it a little bit, you wanna add some images, add some extra text, but that's how easy it is to create those activity pages. So yeah, definitely one I'd recommend trying out. Let me know in the description below if you've got any tips that you found for BookBolt that work really well. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.